In today's video, we're going to be mixing up a fresh batch of salt water. So if you're brand new to the reef aquarium hobby, or maybe you're transitioning from buying all of your salt water already pre-mixed from your local fish store, I'm going to show you an easy way to mix up your salt water. Now today I'm going to be using reef crystals from Instant Ocean, and there's a few reasons why I choose to use reef crystals. One is that it's formulated specially for reef aquariums and it has uh, the elements or the trace elements needed for your corals health as well as added calcium for stony corals and for coralline algae. Another reason is that reef crystals is the salt mix that I started with when I first got into the hobby and it's very reliable and really easy to use. If you're buying salt for your reef aquarium and you want to extend the use of that salt, you want to make sure you purchase the bucket. I recommend the bucket because you can reseal it and it lasts longer as long as you keep it in a dry, uh, dark area or inside your home away from moisture. The reason for this is that the salt can get moisture inside of it and when it does that it hardens and clumps up and so it's harder to use that way. Getting a resealable bucket will keep it nice and powdery for you to scoop up. Okay, so there's a few things that you're gonna need when mixing up salt water for your reef aquarium. First thing being a bucket of RODI water or dechlorinated water. So you wanna make sure there's no metals or impurities in your water and the preferred meth method is by having a RODI unit that stands for reverse osmosis deionized water. And you can purchase an RODI unit for your saltwater aquarium needs. And I'll leave a link to everything I talk about in the description below. So you're gonna need a bucket of water. And in this demonstration, we're using a five gallon bucket of water. We're using reef crystals. Another tool that you're gonna need is some way to check how salty your mixture is or the salinity or specific gravity of your water and you can use that with a refractometer. Uh, back in the day we used to use hydrometers. What you dip in the water, it has a little needle or an arm that points to the right uh, salinity or specific gravity. A, refra a refractometer works by dripping a few drops on the end of it and looking up into the light and the light refracts off of the water giving you a reading of your specific gravity or salinity. So. For my aquarium, I wanna mix up to 35 PPT or 1.026. One thing that you're really gonna need for mixing is a maxi jet pump or some kind of small aquarium pump that you can put in your bucket of water here. And we're just gonna put that in like so. And then we're gonna plug it in uh, like this right here. So what this is gonna do is make the mixing process easier for you because now we have the water inside turning over and then we can get to the salt. So we're going to go ahead and open up the reef crystals bucket of salt right here. Now what I really like about reef crystals is that they make it really easy to mix your salt. All you need is a half a cup per one US gallon. So I usually keep my half a cup scoop in my salt mix. It's plastic, nothing's going to happen. I'm not using any metal, so it's not going to rust or anything. Now, what you want to do if you're mixing up, let's say if you're doing four gallons, you want to do four half cup scoops. In my case, we're pretty close to five gallons, so I'm going to do five half cup scoops. So you want to get in there, get a nice scoop of salt, kind of shake it off to level it out. And what I recommend doing when you're mixing salt for your tank is mix it up the same way every single time. And if you're using five gallon buckets in the beginning, then you wanna mix it up same leveled off scoop every single time. So this is one half cup going in here. And now when you add it into your bucket, you wanna kind of slowly add it. So what I like to do is kind of sprinkle it in and then go around in a circle. And I, I will kind of slowly sprinkle in one scoop and let that pump mix it up in there. And then I'll go ahead and move on to my second scoop. You can see that's too much salt right there. Remember, shake it off, kind of level off your scoop so that you get a nice half cup per gallon. So this is scoop number two and we're gonna sprinkle it in there. Now, if you accidentally dump a lot in or you move a little bit too fast don't worry it's all going to mix up 
Uh, just give it a little more time to mix before you add the second scoop. I like to give it a, a minute or so to move around in there. Now, how long does your mixture need to mix before you add it into your aquarium? Well, a simple answer is until it mixes perfectly clear. Here's the third scoop leveled out. We're going to put that in there. So easy answer until you don't see any more salt in there. Um, it's all mixed up. The water is clear. Another way to look at it is that you want it to mix for a good few hours, four to six hours. You want it to mix up. What I like to do is give it a whole 24 hours. So this is scoop number four. So I like to give it 24 hours to mix up completely, make sure all the elements and everything is mixed up properly. The other tool that you need whenever you're mixing salt, and it's good to have, is a heater because you want your salt water to be mixed up to the correct temperature because temperature will affect the salinity. So you wanna have it at least to 77 degrees. 77 is where I keep my reef tank. So you wanna kinda heat it up to that same temperature so that everything is stable and everything is the same. So if you're mixing it up to the correct temperature, you're gonna read, you're gonna get the correct salinity or specific gravity reading um, on whatever instrument that you're using, whether that be a hydrometer or refractometer, you'll be able to check how salty your water is and get a more accurate reading if your water is up to the correct temperature. So let's add the last scoop here. So again, make it the same way like you're baking a cake, level off that scoop, and then we're gonna put it right in the bucket like so, and then gonna let that mix up. And then we can go ahead and put the scoop back in our reef crystals bucket and close it right up. Now what happens if you add a little bit too much salt or not enough, right? So maybe you check the salinity reading and it's off the charts or it's not high enough. What you can do is add a little bit more salt to your mix if you need it a little saltier. Or if it's too salty, you can add more RODI water to your mix and find the right levels. That's why it's good to have a refractometer on hand because you'll be able to test your water and know where it's mixed up to. So mixing up a fresh batch of salt water is not complicated at all. Using reef crystals, it's one half cup scoop per every one US gallon. And I hope you found this video helpful and beneficial to the success that you're gonna have in your reef aquarium. If the next step for you is adding corals to your reef aquarium and you wanna know about my top five soft corals for beginners, then go ahead and click this video right over here. Thank you so much for watching, liking, and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one.